Welcome YouTubers. In this video, I'm going to talk about Office 365 cloud assignments within Canvas. An Office 365 cloud assignment allows you to take a Microsoft Office document, save it in OneDrive, and then share it with your students via Canvas. Once students have accessed the document within Canvas, they can edit the document within the browser itself and submit the assignment back to you. This is a great way to share Microsoft Office documents with students. In order to create an Office 365 cloud assignment, you need a Microsoft Office document that has been created and saved in OneDrive. On the right side of the screen, you can see that I have a Word document. On the left side of the screen, you can see that I can verify that this document is saved in OneDrive. I could also complete the same operation for an Excel or a PowerPoint document if I would like. But once I can verify that my file is saved in OneDrive, I'm ready to proceed to Canvas and begin the process of distributing this document to students. Once you are on Canvas, you'll need to locate the module where you would like to place the Office 365 cloud assignment. Alternatively, if you do not use modules, you can use the assignment option under the course navigation. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to act as if I am creating the assignment in a module. So I'm going to locate my example assignments module. I'm going to click the plus button. I'm going to add an assignment. I'm going to add a new assignment and I must give the assignment a name. I'm just going to call it Microsoft Office example. Once I have finished typing the example name, I can click Add Item, and the item will be added. It may take a few seconds for that to occur. Once the item is added, I can click on the item to further edit what I just created. At this point, if you would like to add a rubric, this is where you would like to do so. If you do not add it here, you would have to go back into the Assignments tab under Course Navigation and edit later on. So if you are going to add a rubric, I would encourage you to do that now. Otherwise, you can click Edit. And at this point, you can change a number of options about the assignment. In the Rich Content Editor, you can type any instructions that you would need to. You can assign a point value. You can choose to group the assignment. You can choose how you would like to display the grade. The most important item, though, is the submission type. Under the drop-down, you are going to select External Tool. After you've selected External Tool, you are going to select Find. I'm going to make the screen larger so that everyone can see it a little bit easier. And from there, you're going to scroll down on the inside bar and select Office 365 Cloud Assignment. From there, you'll be taken to your OneDrive, and you must locate the assignment that you have stored on OneDrive that you want to distribute to students. My example is stored in Canvas Assignments, so I'm going to double-click there, and then I'm going to choose the Cloud Assignment example. I'm going to click Attach File. It will take just a moment for this assignment to load. Once I can verify that this URL bar right here is full, I know that my assignment has been linked and it has been created. In order to finalize the process, I'm going to hit Select. Once I hit Select, I am taken back to the editing screen within Canvas, and I have a couple more options that I can choose before I finalize the assignment. I can choose to assign the cloud assignment to everyone or just to a particular section. I can also assign a due date and when the assignment will be available from and until. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to leave those items blank. I'm then going to click on Save. Once the item is saved, you will see a preview of what students are going to see. Please be aware this may take 30 seconds or so to load after you have clicked Save. Once you are satisfied with the preview, you will want to return to Modules, and you will want to make sure that the assignment you just created is turned on and visible for students. You can publish the assignment by clicking circle to the right of the assignment so that it turns green with a white check mark inside. You are probably wondering how a student might view this assignment. Please be aware that the student view that any teacher can select within any Canvas course does not work well for cloud assignments. That is because cloud assignments require students to copy the document into their drive and work from that location. And you as the teacher already have a copy of the document in your drive because you created it there. Canvas administrators have a few additional privileges, and I'm going to use one of those to show you what a cloud assignment looks like for a student. You can see that I am logged in as a fictitious student. I'm going to click on the Microsoft Office example, and from there, it will take just a moment for the file to load. Just as with the teacher preview, the student assignment may take 30 seconds or a minute to load. Please make students aware of that fact. Once the assignment loads, it's very easy for a student to complete this assignment. Under the Edit Document option, 
they can click the drop down and click edit in browser. And by doing this, a copy is automatically created on their OneDrive. They don't see it, they don't know that it's there, but it's saved there, and they can edit and work within Canvas and never have to go to OneDrive to complete the assignment. So in this example, I would answer these three short questions, and I would, of course, type Mount Whitney, and it is located in California, and the mountain is 14,505 feet tall. If I wanted to make this a tad bit easier for my teacher to grade, I could do something like highlight the answer and bold that so it sticks out a little bit more. I could underline it. The teacher might give me instructions for what I need to do. I could also change the font if I wanted to do that. Once I am finished from a student perspective, I'm going to click Submit. Again, it will take just a moment to submit. I will see that I am finished with this assignment. If I realize that I made a mistake, maybe I didn't answer a question or I answered one incorrectly, I can go back and click the finish button and it will allow me to edit the assignment and resubmit. But once I have finished the assignment, it's as simple as submitting and I've done that through the online version of Microsoft Word, but it's all nested within Canvas. As a teacher, you probably wonder what the assignment is going to look like to you once students begin completing and turning in the Office 365 cloud assignments. In order to see that, I'm going to click on the example assignment that I created. I'm going to then access the speed grader from that location. And once the speed grader has been accessed, I will see the response that each student has generated from the document that I gave them. If I used a rubric, I would use that rubric to grade the assignment. If I did not use a rubric, I would simply assign the students the score they have earned based on the point value of the assignment. I would also type in any additional comments as needed, and then I would click Submit and the student would receive their grade. As you can see, an Office 365 cloud assignment is an extremely useful tool that allows you to take all of your documents that you have in Microsoft Office form, save them on OneDrive, and integrate them directly through Canvas. Hopefully you can find a use for this great tool. If you have any questions about it, please let me know.